throughout my life, I've played countless different war games. From both FNAFs 1 and 2, a whole whopping 2 hours of Phasmophobia, and even fully 100% completing the scariest game I have ever played. Doki Doki Literature Club. One could say I'm quite the connoisseur in horror gaming. So when one of my mods told me about Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, a game I'd never even heard about, huh? I knew I had to jump onto the opportunity. <laughs> you, you get it? Because it's, 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 it's jump and jump, jump, jump scary. It's, 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 please laugh. The game itself looked simple. Run through a few rooms, we run from some monsters. It's basically just Roblox doors before Roblox doors was even a thing. But despite the cartoonish art style and comical feel, the game holds a lot more than what meets the eye. From facehugger aliens to a grandpa off his meds, you never know what the mansion will throw at you next. So grab some snacks, a drink, sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. The ride that is Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. Also, I uh, record all this live on my twitch.tv slash bubzilla64. That's right, I'm live all the time. I play games. Okay, yeah, you can, you can go check me out. Okay, bye. Oh, there is so much fucking... Oh my god. Yep, that's spooky, all right. After finding out the game has extremely high motion blur, I got to meet Spooky herself. And in the quietest voice I have ever heard, she told me about her mansion and challenged me to go through all 1,000 floors of it to find what lies at the end. And then told me she has no clue if there even is an end, so uh, that's reassuring. Okay, buddy. Uh, oh, she's gone. I, okay, we're going in. Room one. You're so very horrifying, Mr. Coffee Mug. Very, very, very scary. Even though I was joking, I didn't realize at the time the actual horrors that awaited me later on in the mansion. Hell, I was cruising through the first several rooms without a care in the world, admiring the really fun art style and observing the very strange environment. Door 10. Okay, surely something's gonna happen. One of these Minecraft ass looking beds, bro. Holy shit. Oh, oh, oh. Hi. You, uh, I'll admit, you uh, spooked me a little bit there, buddy. How do I pick this up? What is this? Can I make it spin really fast? No, not really. Things, nothing's really happening. There's another Minecraft bed. That's cool. Music is very Metroid-y, actually. That's not... I lied, that is not Metroid. It's like Minecraft. Ooh, we got four doors to go down. I choose this one. When given an option. Oh, helpful, Mr. Toast. I was just about to make a joke about given an option. It's the, uh, the, the, the illusion of free will. It doesn't actually exist. See that door, and that door, and that door's gonna lead me to the same place. The jump scare mansion. It is, in fact, the illusion of choice. And after totally not getting scared a few times, I didn't jump. You didn't see that. I finally found something strange. Oh, there's a read. I can read. At first, this place just seemed cute, but I've been here for days now. I'm feeling quite parched now. I keep getting this feeling like I'm being watched by something. This is not romantic at all. What do you mean romantic? Hello? I know something is following me, but I feel like I'm prancing to the same rooms over and over. Hopefully, leaving notes as breadcrumbs will prove I'm making progress and reaching some destination. I just hope I don't run out of ink. I am dreadfully thirsty. What if Spooky the Ghost is the one that's writing these notes for me? Same room over the twice. I, okay. Uh, uh. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's a checkpoint. Oh, I have, there's save points in this game. Ink. Not quite quenching my thirst. T Taste is terrible. Stains are terrible. Bro, you were not supposed to be drinking ink. I don't think dr drinking it was a very romantic idea. What is it with you and romanticism, girl? It's fucking, we're not living in the renaissance age. At this point, I knew a monster had to show up soon. And once I reached floor 60, all my dreams finally came true. Or, I suppose, all my nightmares came true. I don't think I'm supposed to step on that, right? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to step on that. Bouting, splashing, soaking, innards, inject, what? Nailing never stops ch Okay, yep, okay. Okay, here it is, so... Oh, he's chasing me. Oh, oh. Oh, that just slows me down. That's a fucking skeleton. And this is the loot. Okay, that's cool. I'm gonna be completely honest. This chase was not that climactic or even scary in the slightest. And then it ended almost as fast as it began. So, uh, yeah. He's gone. So I didn't have to run through 20 million 
Okay. Or not 20 million, but like, however many floors to get to. I was in the middle of having a conversation. You did not need to do that. We're starting to get to the point to where if things were to chase me here, I would have died if I would have gone in that pathway. Funny enough, that actually ended up being foreshadowing for a future event. <laughs> Yippee! I ended up making it to level 100 with just one other run-in with Goopy the Green, which was, once again, of course, quite anticlimactic. But little did I know, things were just getting started. Bro, uh, we're starting to get to the more creepier side of the mansion. I don't like what my screen's doing. I'm a little worried. If I keep going this way, am I gonna get fucked? No, it's just the same thing over and over again. That's locked. Oh, no. Anyways, after a totally not horrifying encounter with a moving PNG, I found my way into the SCP laboratory. Oh, what the fuck? We made it to Area 51. Hello? Is this the SCP Foundation? Needs a keycard. This is literally the SCP Foundation. What the fuck? That's a Velociraptor. That's a human fetus. That's Clayface from Mar or DC. I almost said Marvel. Subject 5 is growing more and more restless. I told Spook we need more funds for sedatives. But she just laughed and flew into the ceiling. Okay, so, okay. So Spook is a little- Spooky! Spook, Spooky is a little bit of a prankster. A little bit of a, a goober, you could say. Well, little did I know, I was actually about to come face to face with the man, the myth, the legend himself. Subject number 5. That is a hole in the fucking- Oh no. I believe Subject 5 is loose. The glass screen has been shattered. I can faintly hear clicking coming to the ceiling. I don't know what will happen now. It was just out and alive, and this is probably my last report. The clicking is now getting louder. That's a spider. That's... That's... I, you did not... Please don't do that ever again. D d please, game. Let's... I'm dead. That's not a spider. That is a... That is a... THAT IS A CENTIPEDE! <gasps> that's not fair! 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 Hey, buddy. Get the fuck away from me. Get the fuck away from me. Hey, you fucking stop moving. Duh! What the hell?! <gasps> he came out of fucking nowhere. I'm not even sure. I just missed a little note. It's fine, it's fine. The notes don't matter that much. Surely. Is that... Is that Mother Brain from Metroid? After getting on giddy over the really cool Metroid reference, I continued to trek on through the endless catacombs, and it wasn't long before I found some more excitement. This is a dark hallway, and I have a flashlight. Well, we're just randomly throwing me into this, huh? All right. All right. Oh, we're in a fucking school. Whoa! For what? Okay. Okay. I'm never walking into those classrooms again. What does that say? I, I can't even read that. That's definitely supposed to be Doom, though. That's really fun. Holy motherfucking shit! Oh! Why is that music? I don't like that music. What is this music? This is not the correct music for a fucking horror game, man. It's Ringu. I don't know who Ringu is. I don't want to talk to Ringu. Ringu needs to go away. No! Ringo Star from the Beatles needs to get off my ass, please. Do not the Ringo. Do not the Beatles. Do not the music. Just when I thought things were gonna get any scarier. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it didn't. I wish I could tell you that I checked out the arcade machines for like a few minutes, but uh, I instead spent almost 10 minutes of my time playing God's Drunkest Driver and London Simulator. Do I regret any of it? Absolutely not. I continued on my way afterwards and met some fun friends, like Babs from Silent Hill, or at least according to my chat, that's who she was based off of. See, all the monsters in this game are called specimens, and apparently they're all also based off of various outside sources. Ringu is based off of The Ring, which I've never heard of, the centipede is based off of the old arcade game Centipede, and so on and so forth. And funny enough, after making it a quarter of the way through the mansion and getting congratulated by Spooky herself, this motherfucker is narcissistic as fuck. I got to find out one of the entities was a reference that I was both excited for and mortified to meet. Is that the Happy Mask Salesman? Turns out, that's actually a character by the name of Ben, who's a part of some sort of Happy Mask Salesman-based creepypasta that I've never heard about. Either way, I was quite shocked to find out there was another fun little Zelda reference in the game. Is this a Zelda reference? Oh my gosh, it's a Zelda reference. It's literally a Zelda temple. One day, a strange merchant came to town. He sold handmade puppets and trinkets to all, and all, fuck me in the ass. And all the children loved his store and his gifts. But 
but this town couldn't support his store because the other shops were failing. The other shopkeepers became jealous. So one night, some of the townspeople took all his puppets and threw them in the river. But just afterwards, he came running to the river crying and wailing that his children were being drowned. He dove into the river trying to save his possessions. The townspeople, bitter and still angry, watched him frantically thrash and dive into the river until he never came back to the surface of the water. What a shame. Sounds like a skill issue to me. Unfortunately, making fun of Ben and his story was the wrong move, because after I got lost for several minutes, I was met with quite the, the eerie encounter. Oh, I made it out somehow. There was... Um, hi, happy mask salesman. Oh. Oh, motherfucker! Okay, cool, cool. I did not- Ow! Ow! Hey! Let's just- Oh! What? Uh. Well? There was not. I read the notes. Oh, he's gonna poke my eye out. Um. <laughs> yeah. Not gonna lie, I tried and failed to get past this idiot like two more times before completely giving up and asking chat what to do. In which case, I was told good old Ben acts like a weeping angel. Which, if you don't know, is a creature that if you look at it, it doesn't move. But when you look away, it does move. Think SCP-173, or the endoskeletons from FNAF Security Breach, or the coil huts from Lethal Company. Basically, it's my least favorite type of enemy to go against in any game I play, so finding out that Ben was one was not fun in the slightest. After getting past him, however, nothing interesting really happened for a while, other than a few more run-ins with other monsters. But once I got to floor 405, I got to experience something I never would have expected. And I'm being chased by a centipede at the same time. Uh. Uh. Um. Oh, oh, we are. Um. What? I. I can talk to you? Two sides of the same coin. Knowing your projections can help you be free. Okay. Thanks, strange cat, who has pictures of New York on its wall. You are not you. Put on your mask. Be who you are to others. Uh, I want to be... Oh, oh, oh. This is like an office job. I put on a mask every day in an office, and I slave away at the office every day. Is that what it's referencing? Oh, I... Um... Okay, y yes sir. I wish I would have talked to you at the beginning, because I never talked to you the first time. Knowing your shadow can greatly help you, but be ready to see what you'd rather not be. Uh, okay. I don't know what that means, but I... Um, get ready to run. I don't like that. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on anymore at this point, but apparently I was running from the wall of flesh from Terraria, I guess? I don't know, this part was a fever dream, and it took way too long to. Afterwards, things got back to normal, and I made it to level 500, halfway through the game. Finally. Spooky greeted me once again and told me that the next door is fixed up for me, which didn't give me much hope considering how it looked. And when I passed through it, I found my way onto floor... 51? Yeah, okay, I knew something was up, but luckily, that didn't last long, because I found the express tunnel, and I was back on track in no time. And then it all fell apart again, as per usual. What? What the fuck is this? We're in a... Hello? We're in the fucking Resident Evil. What is happening? No! Oh, there's a deer! That, that is a... That deer hurts me. I got an axe. Wait. I can kill them. Join? Oh, I, I, what the fuck is happening? Okay, okay. I don't have an axe anymore. I died. Okay, well. It took me a minute, but I eventually did get back to the forest. And this time, I avoided the deer. Uh, mostly. Okay. Cool. 
Cool, that's awesome. Okay. Um, I run for many reasons. I run for many, 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 many reasons. Oh my. No, no, I'm good. No thanks. Funny enough, even though I got away from good old deer death, I ended up dying anyways. Why? Because Metroid. That's why. Yeah, that's a Metroid reference. <laughs> yep, okay. In hindsight, running through all that again was definitely quite boring, but eh, I'd say it was worth it. I managed to get back to where I was no sweat anyways, and I continued on my trek, coming across what was basically the Lost Woods from Zelda and managing to somehow get it first try. I'm either a genius or insanely lucky. And of course, once again, just like clockwork, when I made it to the next floor, I was greeted with a new fun little challenge at room 10. And I gotta say, by far, this is probably my favorite. Voice. Um, okay, so this is just Doom now. Reset! That that was really anticlimactic, actually, I'm gonna be honest. Oh no. You have to keep it close, it becomes something else when it gets too far away. Something I can't outrun. What? Oh! Okay, well, apparently I can't keep it close, because that. Well, now we're going to rooms. What the hell is that thing? Holy shit! I can't keep it close to me. Hello? I'm dying. I'm literally dying. I just died. Well, turns out my first instinct to run was not actually what I should have done there, and instead, I was supposed to keep what apparently is a facehugger alien right up close and personal. And although this shit turned out to be really, really easy, Damn, did it take forever. It was basically me slowly walking for several minutes, hoping that he doesn't change into a damn baby sandworm from Doom. Oh, and of course I found him twice on the same damn floor, because why the hell not? Please end my suffering. Once I eventually got past the slowest moving snail on the planet, I got to take a pit stop at your local burger joint, because yeah, that makes sense. Your thought on bowls. Um... I don't know, but this is the mall. I was anxious getting a job here first, but it seems like things are getting better. This chain is really expanding. Which is a shock, because just last week I heard this company was going broke. Every day more and more people show up to eat here. Something still sets me off about this place, and it's food though. So I'm going to try and not to eat anything from here. Evil BK? The evil Burger King. I, go in the, I can go in the women's restroom, okay. I am a woman. I have no reflection. I am a white... I am a white... Light. But yeah. Oh no. Be this tall. I don't think I'm that tall. This is strange. I had a dream last night about this restaurant. I know I was here, but I also felt like I was in another place at the same time. Everything looked so wrong. Nothing was the right size, and I kept hearing those strange animal noises. Almost like wailing. I guess I just feel guilty for eating that burger the other day. Also, today I saw that man again. The one who kept ordering every 10 minutes. This time he never even left the parking lot. He just got his meal, parked, and went, then got back in line. He must have done it at least 8 times before he left. Keeping this business alive. What is that? Okay. I fell asleep in my car today. After eating one of those burgers, I remember brief flashes of a man or animal coming toward me, feeling like some huge lumbering thing was wailing from deep underground as I continued eating. When I woke up, I was fine, but I had veered off the road, and I don't know if it's some weird allergic reaction to a preservative they use or something much worse. But this is my last day. Oh, there's a key that I didn't see laying on the fucking... What is the fuck is that thing? Hello? Did I kill him? Ah, uh. oh, he hit me. I did kill him that- Oh my gosh, I did get him. If I had a nickel for every time I was in an anti-climactic chase in this game, I'd have a lot of nickels. Nevertheless, I continued on until I reached floor 750. Spooky greeted me once again. Only this time, she gave me an actual gift. Unlimited stamina. The only issue was she also took away my ability to sprint for some reason. I mean, at least I could swing my axe indefinitely. That's something. Oh, never mind. It's gone now. Okay, yeah. Thanks, Spooky. Greatly appreciate it. As I hoped Spooky wasn't going to show up again and take away my ability to even play the game this time, I ended up stumbling across something I did not expect at all. Oh, hello. I I'm really glad I didn't swing that beforehand because I would have killed you, and I don't want to kill you. I can hear him coming down the hallway. I need to hide, but I don't know where. I now know this is not an exit or resting place. It is another specimen room. I think he's outside the door now. 
I love your dramatic reading. Thanks, appreciate it. What does he look like? Oh, it's just a dude with a fucking scythe. We're gonna leave now. So leaving was a mistake. <laughs> Yo, who, who, who forgot they grandpa? I'm sure you can, buddy. Come out the closet, little bro? I'm good. I'm good. I think I'm gonna stay in the closet. Oh, he just got the library key. Got parlor key. Awesome. We found the parlor. Take book. Picked up the book. Hide. Well, let's just hide here for a little bit, huh? Oh, I found him! Look at him! Look at, there he is! Where's he going? Why is he walking in the corner? Ah! Aha. <gasps> uh -huh. Hide, please. Oh, got the exit key. All right, but this is the wrong way. No, it's not. We're out of here, bitches. Oh, is he still chasing me? He's still fucking chasing me. What an asshole. Okay, weirdo. At this point, I knew I only had one more major challenge before I made it to the end. I was almost there. It was almost over. My long and horrifying journey was coming to a close. I made friends, I made enemies, but most importantly, I went on an adventure of a lifetime. An adventure that could never be replicated. And as I made it to the final challenge, I was ready for whatever this game was going to throw at me. I was ready. The bathhouse? Four whales are being shipped to the facility tomorrow. One for a health inspection and two that are already dead for aut autopsies. More and more beached whales keep appearing around those islands. I still can't find what's causing it. Oh, that's awesome. So something that can cause beached whales is gonna be in here. That's research report four. I'm a little too far. It's fine, I'll read it. Well, 15D has died much sooner than I expected. What? It's a fucking whale! It's a fucking whale! Yo, look at him! That is a chunker. Hi, buddy. Okay, anyways, the stomach and a circular hole about two feet in diameter all the way through to the outside of the whale. That pretty much confirms the parasite is the cause of the death. That's cool. Broken. I'll break you. Water pump. Restart the pumps. Yo! I'm not gonna make any comments on that. Okay, so we're back in this room. I think this was the... We're not gonna go near her. No, we're, we're not. We're not gonna go near her. I don't think I want to go near the siren. Oh, no. I have to go near the siren. Motherfucking. Okay. Oh, she doesn't know where I am. Until I'm in the water, it seems like. Okay, so I just need to go box to box. Okay, that's huge. She. Are you stupid? Hello? That bitch sucks. Now, this part was fairly easy, don't get me wrong. I only took damage a few times. But my gosh, it felt like it took 20 straight minutes to complete. Now, of course, it turns out it only took like 8, but that's besides the point. I eventually did make it out of there, and naturally, I sprinted, as most people would. But unfortunately, even though I said I was earlier, I was in fact not prepared for what the game had to throw at me. Uh, are you fucking kidding me? I HAVE TO DO ALL OF THAT AGAIN?! It was an unfortunate setback, don't get me wrong. But in the end, it's not like what I'd done was hard. It was just long. Really, really long. Eventually, I did make it out and came face to face with that jackass alien again. But this time, I was careful and I didn't immediately sprint. And after that, it was smooth sailing. Literally. I didn't find a single specimen until I made it to floor 995, where the game gave me a checkpoint? I knew something was off. That had to have meant that floor 1000 was some sort of final test. And boy, I was ready. This was it. The curtain call. Spooky's last jump scare. The final battle. We did it! Just go towards the light. I don't know if I like that. We did it. Did we do it? Seven hour check mark? Did we really? Oh boy, if we did. We did it. We made it to the other side. What is there here? There is nothing. Nothing for us. Oh, oh. Yeah, I figured as much. Well, you made it.
Oh, my spooky. Uh huh. We gotta kill Spooky, huh? Oh shit! I have no health or stamina here. Taking all those logs that keep throwing out. What? And I'm nailing them together. Hello. Oh my. Oh oh dear. Um. Uh. Oh. Uh. What is that thing? Oh. Oh, so we're fighting a boss now. Can I, like, hit him? He doesn't have a fucking health bar. Hello? Okay, okay. Okay, got them. Huge. Oh, he's fucking gonna Kame Kame Hami. Hello? Oh, motherfucker. Is this what I think it is? Is this a Ganon boss fight? It's a fucking Ganon boss fight. Okay. The blood on my screen is, uh, hindering my view. Could we not do that, please? Bitch. Okay, Sans Undertale. Alright, alright, alright. Ganon Dove. Ganon Dove time. Let's go. I missed it. Twice. Okay. Got him. I like that he's a 3D render. That's crazy. Okay. Okay. Come on, bitch. You don't have a health bar, but I don't give a shit. You'll die here, now, and no, you don't die. Okay. The only issue is just, like, the visual clutter. There is so much visual clutter. Alright, the Dragon Balls! We hit one back. They're flashing in my face. F some warning. Alright, bitch ass. I got him. I did it. Congratulations. Who is the... What? It was interesting watching you swing your axe around like that. What? I know you'll make a fine specimen. What? Bad ending. Oh, there are endings! Even now, I'm not actually sure how you're supposed to get the good ending of the story. Maybe this whole game was just some sort of test to see if I could restrain myself from killing the final boss like I did, hacking and slashing away at it. A test to show that I'm not a monster like the other poor souls trapped in the mansion. That I'm restrained. That I'm a good person. But instead, I proved that I was the monster all along. Or maybe Spooky's just a bit of a prankster. You know what? Yeah, I like that a little more.